anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. Yes, ma'am. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The answer seems plain enough to me. Be more alert. Aye, aye, Commander. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Yeah, they tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. Seems similar enough to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The Genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. 
So long, Rex. Shepard. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? That doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. 
The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. I should go. See you later. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. 
He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Take cover! Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Engaging target!
bunkered. Check in with Fai Dan, but I think we're done here. Another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated yet, though. We should keep looking.
on me! I can't believe the colony held out as long as it did. Gotta give these colonists credit. They don't give up easy. appears to have activated the system, Commander. don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. No! Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm Trying to get to the- Dying! <laughs> Let's leave him. There's nothing we can do for him. I don't have time for this. Well? Don't stay too long, or time will be all you have. To me.
The tower's secure, thanks to you, Commander. I'm interested in what Saren sent the Geth to find. Nothing more. If it's Geth you're looking for, you've come to the right place. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Tell me what the Geth want. Why are they attacking you? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. How do I get there? The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. Every Geth I kill brings me one step closer to Saren. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with her. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck. There, there, dear. No good place. Just relax. My headaches are getting better. I just have to stop thinking about the past. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony.
Sounds like they've spotted us. They must be close. Forget them. We need to deal with the gas. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? I suggest you put that weapon down unless you're ready to use it. Don't worry about him. He only cares about the company. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Phi Dan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're not dead, but the Geth have really pounded them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Just tell me where I can find them. <laughs> you see? They're not here to save us. We should just wait for company support before we... Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth... She's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Where's your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Hmm. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good. Good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. Deadly for him, fine for us. What could be better? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny Headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. You're awfully quick to trust me with this. Have you seen anyone else heading to Exogeny lately? I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh... That's for smarter men than me to figure out. I have no idea what anyone would want with this ruin. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? 
Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. It just can't get worse than this. They wiped out our defenses in minutes. We've been trapped for days. We ran when the attack hit. These people had their shot. That's more than some did.
can get through this with the gear we have. Has to be another way in. One-way drop, Commander. Who are you and what are you doing in here? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. I'll fight my way through the Geth soon enough. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. If you know something, tell me. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Any suggestions? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You can follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field.
Safe encrypted files. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorium. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Exogeny knew all along what would happen to those people. It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. So that's why they were acting weird. You should contact Joker. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We need to drop that field and get back to Zeus Hope. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. Going to standby mode.
I think we're good, Shepard. I think this situation falls under the shooter sight category. Regroup! Contact. Just like the other one. You don't have the teeth to tear this out. Keep looking.
dislodge even one claw of the ship made for. Doors will be open now. We can go deal with that Thorian thing. Damn. I'd like to have seen the face on their pilot when that thing toppled. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you have to. Uh, will do, Commander. We'll fire off a few warning shots. That should send them running. All right, people. You know the drill. Let's move out. I don't think this place is safe. You said you didn't know about the Thorian. I don't like being lied to. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. Just tell me where I can find the Thorian. No more lies. The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. 
You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coups. This doesn't have to end like that. Not this time, Jong. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you going to tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's going to miss a few colonists. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on, and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work, and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's got to be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. Dodgy. But it just might work. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. 
Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed, thank you. Just give me my credits and I'll be on my way. You bet. Thanks for all your help, Commander. human. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Whatever you say, Commander. Let's do it.
tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! Okay, we just have to find this thing and put a couple of rounds into... What the hell is that? Nothing's ever simple, is it? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world. Extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will feed the ground and the new growth!
I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. How did you end up inside that thing? My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian, our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> I have given you the Cypher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you alright, Shepard? What'd she do? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. 
In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. Goodbye. I wish you well in your future efforts. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. And with the power cells you brought, I can get this place up and running again. Thanks, Commander. It will take time for things to get back to normal around here. Thank you for freeing us. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Are you okay, Commander? You look a little pale. It's that damn cipher. That is sorry messed you up good. And for what? We still don't know where to find the stupid conduit. What a waste. The cipher is going to lead us to the conduit. I'm just not sure how yet. We still have another lead, Commander. That Asari scientist in the Artemis Tau Cluster, the Matriarch's daughter. She's an expert on the Protheans. Maybe she knows something. 
Don't worry. We'll deal with her soon enough. Crew dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogen, you should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. Yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. The Thorian enslaved and killed innocent civilians. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Goodbye, Counselor. Oh, lost the connection, ma'am. Sorry. <laughs>